mess that I right, once did. Right, yes. That's why I can say I look back in the mess and I'm not there anymore. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Many of us don't look like what you've been through. Praise yeah, God. You, you don't Lord. look like what you've been through. You, you, you have been through hell and how long? Yeah, you have been through witchcraft and, and spells and, and casting and all this kind of stuff. You've been through tormenting from demons. You've yeah, been through sickness and disease. You, but praise the Lord. You don't look like what you've been through. And that is a sign that God has given you a flawless victory. victory. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, here in the passage, we meet the man called David. David, whose name meant beloved. David was born the last of eight sons. See, sometimes God will overlook the first for the last. Y'all know the Bible said the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. See, by right, by right, uh, 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 the, 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 the right of kingship was not supposed to go to the last born son. Hmm. By right, it was supposed to go to the first born son. But see, what God did is that God decided to intervene. Because he was making a point. Uh, see, I, 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 don't, I don't care about what you men think. I don't care about you women, what you women think. It's all about what I think. I, I, what I think, so uh, I will choose who I want to choose. You might think that I'm unworthy, but I will choose who I want to choose. You wouldn't believe some of the things that people said about me. They said, uh, see, he ain't supposed to be preaching here. He used to be Catholic. He ain't supposed to be preaching. He's supposed to be a deacon first. Y'all didn't know. You didn't know. I didn't know that there was no one. I didn't know that there was no 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 promotion uh, thing. I didn't know it was like the Boy Scouts. I didn't know you yeah. had to be, uh, you know. I didn't know it was like that. I just thought that God picked who He wanted to pick. So 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 so. But they said that they, one of the folks said you you ain't you really you're supposed to be no preacher uh, because you just a new convert such and such such and such. About three or four years into the thing, I knew that God called me, and uh, and now uh, that was about 15, 16, 17 years ago that God called me, and I, I knew that there was a thing that God was doing in me. But see, some some folk decided that there was a tradition that you had to follow and almost like they made the things of God like the Boy Scouts. I didn't think it was like that. So I just I just was listening to the Lord. I just was moving as God said to move. And so so when God said move, I moved. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Sir. But see, David was born in, in 1085 BC. At the beginning of the story, we find the prophet Samuel distraught, broke down, busted, and disgusted. He felt bad for Saul. Because see, Saul was the one he had developed a relationship with. And see, let me tell you something about relationships. See, sometimes God wants your relationships to change. Mm. Okay, because let me go back. Let me go back. First Samuel, first Samuel 16, verse 1. Let's go there. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of the story. First Samuel 16, verse 1. Because what you have to understand is that every everybody's not going to go there with you. Mm. Right. So Amen. see, because of the fact that everybody's not going to go there with you, you have to follow the Lord. Right. Now, 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 I'm not talking about I'm not talking about covenant relationships because we have no right to violate the covenant. But what I'm talking about is just just ties that we have. See, sometimes in life we got ties. We we have what's called sometimes soul ties because uh, sometimes we get attached to people for the wrong reason because yeah. you was in a space at a point in your life and they was in a space at a point in their life. And you hooked up because you was in the same space. But because God spoke to you and told you to move, it's time for you to move. Mm. Okay, okay. Because, because of the fact, let me explain something to you. There was a relationship that Samuel had developed with King Saul. See, Samuel was the one that anointed King Saul. And God had called Samuel to Saul. But see, the fact is that Saul had aborted and chose to abort the things of God that was in him. And so God's hand was no longer on him. God's favor was no longer on him. And so Saul, Samuel was destroyed. That's why in verse 1 it says, God said, Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul? I have rejected him. Now I need you to get yourself together. I need you to wipe your eyes. I need you to dry your tears and go look for the one I tell you to look for. 
All right. Okay. All right. See, you see, I know, I know, I know, I know sometimes it's hard, but you got to try your eyes and go on and look for the one that God told you to look for. All right. All right. You got to try your eyes. See, sometimes God will take you away from your folk, from the, from your cronies, from your homeboys, from your, from your ace boom.